Syria has been and will continue to be on the receiving end of regional escalation. Early Thursday, Israeli forces launched simultaneous missile attacks on the airports in the capital Damascus in the northern city of Aleppo, damaging the runways and putting both airports out of service. It remains unclear what the immediate objective of the attack was, but as a result, uh, the Iranian foreign minister who was scheduled to visit Syria had to divert his plane and push back his visit. Syria's Damascus and Aleppo airports are both known to host military bases, which are reportedly transit points for Iranian arms sent to Hezbollah as well as other Iran-backed militias. Immediately after the escalation between Hamas and Israel, we've seen some cross-border exchanges of fire between Israel and Iran-backed militants, specifically in southern Syria, and Israel has sent reinforcements to the north to thwart any Hezbollah attack. None of this is new, though. These tit-for-tat cross-line attacks are reoccurring in Syria, and this is not the first time Israel has targeted vital infrastructure, including airports, and it's highly unlikely that it's going to be the last. As, that, as long as the war is largely confined to Gaza and the West Bank, it is unlikely to significantly change the fragile status quo in Syria. The fate of thousands of Iranian-backed militias in the country is more likely tied to Hezbollah's reaction. If the Lebanese group fully commits itself to the fight, we could expect to see Iran and Hezbollah redeploy significant manpower away from Syria. If they do it, it would definitely create a power vacuum that would be seen as an opportunity by various shades of militants who oppose Assad and his Iranian backers, as well as by pro-Assad figures who want to expand their power base. <laughs>